Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Mega Shadow Fist, and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. And we last left off, Monokuma, Monokuma appeared out of nowhere, and he was like, "We're going to be taking over the world," and we we're like, "Whoa, let's go to take over the world!" So that's not what happened at all. It's going to continue. The game will begin from where you last left off. Is this okay? Chapter five: School Life, Deadly Life. Yes, please. Anyway, so when we last left off, Monokuma really what he said is that he brought he was that the killing game is being broadcast to the entire world, as you can see right there. So, let's go to continue. This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. What? This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. It doesn't matter how many times he says it. I don't know what it's, suppo what it's supposed to mean. It means exactly what it's supposed to mean. That's exactly why he's repeating it. I mean... Even if I understand the words, I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning. There is no deeper meaning! What? Or what? Broadcast live to the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? It can't be! Have they taken over the airways somehow? The camera feed is being broadcast! No way, that's impossible! That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system, you know that? All I need is one weird trick that I found and hijack the airways is easy mode! Is it really? Are you being serious right now? Of course! I heard a kind of creaking, but the sound was coming from my own mind. Like a, like a boat tossing into the ocean, my mind had begun to creak and grow. Everything has a meaning, you know! All those hits I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries, even me luring you here right now! Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience to show them true despair like they'd never seen it before! I became the director of a despair-based production! This is the ultimate reality show, the best in despair entertainment! You're lying! If this was on TV, the police and everyone else would, go, would be going crazy! Yeah! There's no way they wouldn't have tried to- I'm not using the right voice. Yeah! There's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us! What if they already did? I figured it's- that's what I figured. Huh? Oh, actually, no, that- no. That's- I mean, how do I put this? I figured- I figured that something would have happened, because, like, earlier in this- earlier in the game, Monokuma was talking about how, like, he- like, we mentioned the cops, he was like, oh, the cops? You shouldn't be relying on those, so we knew something was up. But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come here to help? Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally, though, so whatever! But to take control of all communication like that, you need an astronomical amount of resources. Yep, so how could things have come this far? Well, that's a secret! There's something you all need to first- all you all need to do first, remember? Kill each other? What? Yeah, duh! There's the little business of- Oh. Oh, right, right, right. There is that. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> a body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you, you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. Huh? Class trial? Do you mean... I'll leave the next Monokuma file right here! Everyone, everyone will give it all you've got, okay? Okay, things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out! You're in for a heck of a ride! I can't wait! I can't wait! And then... he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible, the truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left- all we were left with... was despair. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think. I took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. I don't understand any of this! What's despair entertainment and- How is he still alive?! I thought that finally, finally we could- we could get out of here! And plus, what did he say about a class trial? Well that part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it means is that at this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. Uh, except, uh, what? What are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? That Mukuro Ikisaba was the one who died! 
The victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. However, with the appearance of Monokuma, uh, it, it is obvious that the mastermind is still here. Therefore, by logic, it would have to be Kyoko, right? Giddy giddy. That's what the logic would dictate, but as we've learned so far, well, it's not the, the logical outcome isn't necessarily the logical outcome if you get my drift. And if Monokuma is still alive and active, that means that the mastermind, Mukuro Kisaba, isn't dead. So naturally, that body can't belong to her, so it must be Kyoko. There's no other possibility. The body is... Kyoko's? Kyoko's been murdered? No, it's not possible. Because... Because I don't know anything about her yet. If only things work like that in real life. <laughs> I don't even know who she really is. To have it in like this. Nah, she's too important, so she's not dead. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself? Anyway, we better begin. But, if we're gonna have a class trial, then that means the killer! Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. Wait, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? Well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? But you just said... I don't have time to explain now. There is a veritable, veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. So I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. That is how this game works, after all. What? Eh? New music. It's like a heavy guitar rift. <laughs> okay. Well, I better start by checking out the Monokuma file. Like, listen, like... Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. Are we even gonna have an investigation in the next chapter, I wonder? Cause like, the way they're making this out, it seems like this is like the final real class trial, perhaps. Due to the explosion, the victim's body is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. Okay. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. A single time with a knife, which went completely through the body? Okay. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. Huh. Okay. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Okay. So even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. The un unidentified body. Could it really be Kyoko? Or... I have no choice. I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth to m for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened, or we're all dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime. Back to the garden. Alright, Monokuma file number 5 has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. What's up? This music is actually really distracting, because, like, it's so new. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Okay, time to get started. I need to check anywhere I need to check anywhere that might be important from one end to the other. I just need to I just need to do what I always do. <sighs> Alright, so, that's how you know, let's have a talk with you. Listen, Makoto, do you remember how the body looked, you know, before it blew up? Um, if I remember right, it was wearing some kind of mask and a big white coat. Also, there was a knife sticking out of the stomach, and the area around it was stained with blood. Apparently, the wound had stopped bleeding, but the blood on the body was still wet. Byakuya said not to touch it to avoid getting all bloody. But for how much blood there was on the body, I didn't see any, any on the ground around it. Interesting. Wow, thanks, that was a big help! Now that you explain, I totally remember how it looked! Well, having to talk about it like that helped me remember it, remember it a lot better, too. So thank you, too. Body before the explosion has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. As per usual, we're gonna check the truth bullet section every time. Seriously, this music is really distracting. Let's look at this one more time, just to make sure I have everything. The explosion of victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim was stabbed with a single time, a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck, struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wet wounds, but these were uh, at least a few, at least several days old. With the body before the explosion, the corpse had a mask covering its head and a white jacket covering the body. A knife had been thrust into the abdomen, and there were bloodstains around the wound. The body had stopped bleeding, but the blood was still wet. It was noted, however, that there was no blood on the ground around the body. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Let's see here. Let's have a talk with, uh, Fukawa. So who does that body belong to? Whoever it is, I'm not gonna look. I don't wanna faint anymore. Alright. Fogami. 
Good timing, Makoto. I wanted to talk to you. Alright. What do you want to talk about? I'd like to hear your alibi. Hmm, I see. Sudden change in music. Alibi? Correct. I'd love to hear where you were after night time began last night. Um, well, I was sick, so I was asleep all night. But why are you asking about that now? And what's night time got to do with it? Isn't it obvious the murder took place after night time? How can you be so sure? How can you know that for sure? Because just after night time began, I came to the garden. I was going around looking for everyone so I could tell them about Monokuma. Hilo's been spending most of his time in the garden the last few days, so I figured he'd be here. And I can confirm that when I arrived last night, there was nobody here. The body could have just as easily been in the shed, but whatever. So the murder could only have taken place at some point during nighttime after I left the garden. However, Tokohiro, Hina, and I were in the gym together the entire, the entire night last night. True. What? Once I found Hiro in the garden, we immediately went to Toku, Toku and Hina's room to get them. At that point, we all went to the gym and began dismantling Monokuma. As a precaution, we made sure not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. In other words, all four of us have, a, have airtight alibis. But you don't. The only ones who don't have alibis are me and Kyoko. And if the victim really is Kyoko, then I'm the only one without an alibi. Also, when we went to get Hina and Toko, we stopped by your room as we stopped by your room as well. But you never came to the door, so where precisely were you? I was in my room. I was sick. I'm telling the truth. I was in my room, but I was dead asleep. I had a fever, so that's hardly an alibi. I know. So what now? You seem to be at quite the disadvantage here. I'm the only one without an alibi. That's really bad, isn't it? Biaki has kind of been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. All right, let's look at it. Uh, truth bullets. Biaki had stated that there was no corpse in the garden just after nighttime last night, so it can be assumed the murder must have taken place sometime after that. Biaki also said that he, Yasuhiro, and Toko, and Oi were in the gym the entire night, and none of them were alone at any point. All right. Um, Hangakure. It's 11 o'clock right now! Okay, and? Oh, well, I was just thinking about when we first found the body! When the body was found, huh? I should look back at what I, what I did this morning to help me remember when, when that was. Monokuma's announcement woke me up at 7 o'clock as usual and I headed for the dining hall pretty soon. Once I got there, I met up with Hina. That was right around 7.30. Then I headed to the gym where everyone else was waiting. Excuse me. Next, Toko went to the next. Next, Toko went to go get the pickaxe, and that's when she found the body. What time was it then? Now then, Toko, what time is it? Well, when we left the gym, it was just before nine o'clock, so it's probably nine on the dot now. That's right. I had to. Have been, it had to have been right around nine o'clock. Ah, now that you mention, I think you're right. So I think we can say for sure that the body was found around found at nine a.m. Okay, my job's done. That's a pretty small job. That actually might exact might actually might be like the most important piece of information out there though. When the body is found, when the body is found has been added to the truthful section of your handbook. Alright, place your bets. Who do you think do you think that um the dead bodies Ikusaba Mukuro or not? And um Who do you think murdered them? Uh, let's see, Mokuto, 7 a.m. Mokuto wakes up, wakes to the morning announcement, 7.30 a.m. Mokuto and Oi arrive at the dining hall, 7.30 to 9 a.m. Mokuto meets the others in the gym, and together they head, they head to the headmaster's room. Toko is told to find the pickaxe in the garden where she discovers the body. What if she killed the... What if she killed... What if Kama killed them? No, that's actually... That's absolutely baloney. Come on, don't be silly. Oh yeah, the serial killer... No, it's silly. I remember there were some chickens in the chicken coop. But there are only four chickens! Yep, I count four chickens. Huh? Four? What's going on, Makoto? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Listen, do you remember how many chickens that, um, there were in here? Of course, there were precisely five! Yeah, right? Hmm, what's wrong? There's only four chickens here now. We're one short. Huh? That's so weird. I, I wonder when it ha when it disappeared. I was down here just before nighttime last night, and there there were definitely five chickens there. What are we gonna do? Going from five to four is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world. 
It's like a jigsaw puzzle. If even a, jig a single piece disappears, the entire world will remain unfinished. I did my best to ignore Hito and focus on the problem at hand. Why did one of the chickens disappear? Could it be related to the case? Chicken Coop Chickens has been added to the Truth Bullets section of your handbook. Alrighty then, Truth Bullets section. Chicken Coop Chickens. The number of chickens in the Chicken Coop has decreased from 5 to 4. Yasudo claims that there are, with, there are without a doubt 5 chickens just before nighttime last night, and yet... There are only 4. Can we investigate it again? There are only 4 chickens now. What, what happened to the... I was down here just before nighttime last night, and there are definitely five chickens then! Why do one of the chickens disappear? Could it be related to the case? Yeah, 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 okay. We're going to examine. No, we'll examine the body first. Alright. These look like fragments of something. They're all burnt, so I can't really be sure, but. I feel like I've seen something like that before. But where? Wait, was it. there? I'll have to double check that later. Fragments in the dead body have been added to the Troopless section of your handbook. I actually don't quite... I don't quite remember. Hmm? If I check the body more thor thoroughly, maybe then I'll find out for sure if Kilko's... if it's Kilko or not. Alright, we have four. So, we have a mark on the hand with long red nail... nails. Huh? There's something weird about the body's fingernails. Okay, these are fake nails. They're really long. They seem like they get they seem like they get in the way of normal activity. Fake nails have been added to the Drupal section of your handbook. Yes, because that's totally the thing that you should be you should be taking from this. Yeah, they they, they take away from normal activity. Body's wearing notably long fake nails. Okay. There's also the thing on the back of her right hand. Is this a tattoo? It got burned, so I can't make out the whole thing, but it looks like it's a picture of a dog or something. I've never seen anything like it before. It's a wolf, actually. Or like a coyote. Tattoo, tattoo on the right hand has been added to the Drupal section of your handbook. Alright. Tattoo, please. Tattoo on the right hand. The body has a t had a tattoo of a dog on the back of the right hand. Okay. We have this. The upper half of the body the upper half of the body got set on fire in the explosion, so it's totally blackened. Also, the top half of the body is wet. When we splash water on it, yeah. That's because I got got it set on fire. That's because it got set on fire and I threw water on it. Because I only threw water in the part that was on fire, the top half. The bottom half is still dry. In other words, there's nothing strange about the top half being wet. There isn't, right? If you have to ask, then there is. Let's see. I don't know exa I don't know exactly what would be strange about that. The explosion has burnt the upper half of the body beyond recognition. The upper half of the body ex remained on fire and had to be extinguished. Because of this, the upper half was soaking wet while the bottom half remained dry. Okay. Let's see what we got here. The white jacket the victim was wearing got totally burnt up. There's only one little piece left. Okay. The lower half of the body didn't get didn't get wet at all. After the body blew up, the top half got, got set on fire, so I dumped a bucket of water on it. No, 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 okay, never mind. Which explains why the bottom half isn't wet. There's nothing strange about that, right? Okay, hold on. There is... Okay, yeah. Here's the thing. Monokuma did mention that the... The... Here's the thing. Togami, Togami said that the murder had to have happened at night. Right? However, the problem with that is that Monokuma said early in the chapter that the sprinklers are designed to go on at 7.30 a.m. Meaning if it happened at night, the entire body would be- the entire body would be wet. Correct? So, that means that this had to have been moved after 7.30. Step away from the dead body. Hold on, let's make sure that we looked at everything. There's only four things, and I know for a fact that I examined all of this, but let me make sure that, like, I didn't hit the wrong hitbox for this one. Why check out the video? I'm gonna totally burn this one. Okay, anyway. Aquapot, see you guys in the next episode.